Chapter 25 And Jehovah speaketh unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the sons of Israel, and they take for me a heave offering. From every man whose heart impelleth him, ye do take my heave offering. And this is the heave offering which ye take from them, gold, and silver, and brass, and blue, and purple, and scarlet, and linen, and goat's hair, and ram's skins made red, and badger's skins, and shittim wood, oil for the light, spices for the anointing oil, and for the perfume of the spices, shoham stones, and stones for setting for an ephod, and for a breastplate. And they have made for me a sanctuary, and I have tabernacled in their midst. According to all that which I am shewing thee, the pattern of the tabernacle, and the pattern of all its vessels, even so ye do make it. And they have made an ark of shittim wood, two cubits and a half its length, and a cubit and a half its breadth, and a cubit and a half its height. And thou hast overlaid it with pure gold, within and without thou dost overlay it, and thou hast made on it a ring of gold round about. And thou hast cast for it four rings of gold, and hast put them on its four feet, even two rings on its one side, and two rings on its second side. And thou hast made staves of shittim wood, and hast overlaid them with gold, and hast brought the staves into the rings on the sides of the ark, to bear the ark by them. In the rings of the ark are the staves, they are not turned aside from it. And thou hast put unto the ark the testimony which I give unto thee. And thou hast made a mercy seat of pure gold, two cubits and a half its length, and a cubit and a half its breadth. And thou hast made two cherubs of gold, beaten work dost thou make them, at the two ends of the mercy seat. And make thou one cherub at the end on this side, and one cherub at the end on that. At the mercy seat ye do make the cherubs on its two ends. And the cherubs have been spreading out wings on high, covering the mercy seat over with their wings, and their faces are one towards another. Towards the mercy seat are the faces of the cherubs. And thou hast put the mercy seat on the ark above, and unto the ark thou dost put the testimony which I give unto thee. And I have met with thee there, and have spoken with thee from off the mercy seat, from between the two cherubs which are on the ark of the testimony, all that which I command thee concerning the sons of Israel. And thou hast made a table of shittim wood, two cubits its length, and a cubit its breadth, and a cubit and a half its height, and hast overlaid it with pure gold, and hast made for it a crown of gold round about, and hast made for it a border of a handbreadth round about, and hast made a crown of gold to its border round about. And thou hast made to it four rings of gold, and hast put the rings on the four corners which are to its four feet. Over against the border are the rings for places for staves to bear the table. And thou hast made the staves of shittim wood, and hast overlaid them with gold, and the table hath been borne with them. And thou hast made its dishes, and its bowls, and its covers, and its cups, with which they pour out. Of pure gold thou dost make them. And thou hast put on the table bread of the presence before me continually. And thou hast made a candlestick of pure gold, of beaten work is the candlestick made, its base and its branch, its calyxes, its knops and its flowers are of the same. And six branches are coming out of its sides, three branches of the candlestick out of the one side, and three branches of the candlestick out of the second side. Three calyxes made like almonds in the one branch, a knop and a flower, and three calyxes made like almonds in one branch, a knop and a flower, so for the six branches which are coming out from the candlestick. And in the candlestick are four calyxes made like almonds, its knops and its flowers, and a knop under two branches of the same, and a knop under two branches of the same, and a knop under two branches of the same, are to the six branches which are coming out of the candlestick. Their knops and their branches are of the same, all of it one beaten work of pure gold. And thou hast made it seven lamps, and one hath caused its lights to go up, and it hath given light over against its front. And its snuffers and its snuff-dishes are of pure gold. Of a talent of pure gold he doth make it with all these vessels. And see thou and do them by their pattern, which thou art shewn in the mount.'